Hello and welcome back. We'll be building a lemon battery today. Increase its voltage and amperage, as well as explore the salt bridge using a pickle. Here on the Matt Yasa channel. I'll start out here by inserting a zinc coated nail on one side of my lemon and a copper nail on the other. And as I apply both probes of my voltmeter here, it is reading out one volt of power. And you don't need to connect the probes as I have. You can merely just touch them against the nails and that will work as well. If you don't have a copper nail, you can use some copper wire or possibly a penny. And now as I flip over to the amperage side of my meter, we'll see it reads 0.18 milliamps. Now, what if I insert another copper nail right next to the first one and attach the probe to both? You'll see we've increased the power. We've gone up to a quarter of a milliamp. And now as I add more copper on one side, I'll have to add more zinc on the other to help balance out the reaction. And so as you can see, the power doesn't actually come from the lemon, but from a chemical reaction between the metals and the acidic lemon juice. And now you'll notice as I remove and reinsert the nails, the voltage isn't changing. That tells us that the voltage is dependent on the rate or the speed of the chemical reaction and not just how much volume of a chemical reaction we have going on. And so if we change the type of metals we're using, the fruit or the temperature, we should see a change in voltage as well. And so I wired two lemons into a series, the copper electrode to the zinc electrode. We'll see that the voltage has doubled 1.84 almost two volts. But the amperage, well, it remains the same as one lemon, 0.18. I'll wire one more lemon into the circuit, again from copper to zinc, to raise the voltage to almost three volts. This is the voltage requirement for the smaller LEDs. However, you'll notice it's not very bright as the lemons are still only producing 0.18 milliamps. And so we could build additional three volt lemon batteries and wire them into parallel. However, to reach a full milliamp, we would need five additional lemon batteries, which would be 18 lemons in total. And considering you can't eat the lemons once you put the nails in them, they become toxic, it would just be a big waste. And so by adding more connected electrodes or larger electrodes, you increase the fuel of the reaction. And so you'll see a much brighter bulb, the same voltage, but a higher amperage. And so if you don't have the multimeter, but have an LED, you'll need to wire two to three lemon cells in a series to boost the voltage. And then once it starts to glow, add more metal to boost the amperage. And so if I remove one of the electrodes and place it in another lemon, we should see a quick drop in power. And if I hold it in the air, no power at all. And so besides the wire, the lemons require a physical connection in order to continue the reaction. The table can make a physical connection as well, since it's covered in lemon juice. And so I'll isolate that with a block of wax and install a salt bridge. The salt bridge is said to transfer charged ions from one cell to the other. Without this physical bridge, each cell would build up its positive and negative charges separately until the reaction would cease to occur altogether. It's sort of like trying to suck air out of one balloon to blow up a second balloon. You'll either suck all the air out of one of the balloons or have no more space in the other. 
And so by connecting both balloons, you can stabilize the pressure and constantly move air between them. From doing these tests, I found out the battery I built in my last video doesn't actually need a salt bridge. It just needed a stronger acid. And now if you want to do the salt bridge connectivity experiment yourself between two separate lemons, you won't need a glass tube. All you'll need is a pickle. The pickle works well for its high salt and moisture content. You can peel back a bit of the outer layer to expose more of the softer underside, which should help the connectivity. You can change the size of the pickle to see how that affects the bridge, as well as different metals and fruits to compare between the different voltage and amperage readings you get. And so I've seen a few high voltage fruit batteries consisting of hundreds of fruit but I've never seen a high amperage fruit battery consisted of hundreds of nails. You can always add more fruit to a circuit to boost the voltage, but there's gonna be a limit to the amperage. There's only so much room we can use. And we'll get closer to figuring out what that limit is right now. And we've got about 14 or 15 milliamps. And so I ran out of nails. I only have about one third of the lemons covered. I would estimate with more nails and a larger pickle for connectivity, we might hit anywhere from 50 to 100 milliamps. And now I wanna thank you for checking out this episode on the lemon battery. If you wanna learn more about the chemical reaction happening here, I recommend checking out my last episode where I made my very first zinc acid battery. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss what's coming up next on the Matt Yasa channel.